In this question, we have a triangle ABC. We're told the coordinates of B, 3, 0, and C, 9, negative 2. And we're told that this broken line is a perpendicular bisector. Perpendicular, it's at right angles to BC, and bisector passes through the midpoint. Let's call that midpoint M. So we have to find the equation of this perpendicular bisector of BC. And let's call the point where it meets the line AB. Let's call that the point P. So let's explain, first of all, what we've done. We'll say let M be the midpoint of BC and P be the point where the perpendicular bisector meets AB. So that's a setup. Well, I mean, it is on the diagram, but it's as well uh, stating it quite clearly. So, equation of a line. Remember the way to find the equation of a line. We need to know its gradient. We need to know a point on that line. And we can then use the y minus b equals m x minus a formula to find that equation. So let's have a look. First of all, do we know a point on this line? Well, I'm focusing here on M, which we know is the midpoint of AB, uh, sorry, BC. So therefore, its X coordinate will be the average, the mean of the two X coordinates of B and C. That's 3 plus 9 divided by 2. And the Y coordinate of the point M will be the mean of the Y coordinates of B and C, 0 and negative 2. So 0 plus negative 2 divided by 2. And that works out at 9 and 3 is 12. 12 divided by 2 is 6. 0 plus negative 2 is negative 2. Negative 2 divided by 2 is negative 1. So let's add that to the diagram. M is the point 6, negative 1. So we know a point on this perpendicular bisector. Next, the gradient. Well, we know it's perpendicular to BC, so let's first work out the gradient of the line joining B to C. Y difference over X difference. So the Y difference, 0 minus negative 2. And since we started with the point B, we have to do that with uh, the X difference, 2. So it'll be 3 minus 9. So 0 minus negative 2 is 0 plus 2, that's 2. And 3 minus 9 is negative 6. So cancelling by 2, we'll get 1 over negative 3. That's negative 1 third. You go along 1, you've gone down a third. Along 3, you've gone down 1. That looks OK from the diagram. So that's the gradient of BC. So therefore, the gradient of a line perpendicular to BC, remember we invert this and change the sign so it becomes positive. So that would be 3. You can check that 3 times negative 3, negative a third gives you negative 1. Because a gradient times its perpendicular gradient always gives you negative 1. Uh, so that means that the gradient of the line MP, that's the perpendicular bisector, will be 3. So gradient of perpendicular bisector is 3. Point on perpendicular bisector is, and we already worked that out, it's the midpoint, it's uh, 6, negative 1. So with reference to this 
m and this a b, m is going to be 3 and the point a b is 6, negative 1. So the equation of the perpendicular bisector is y minus the y coordinate, that's negative 1, equals the gradient 3 times x minus the x coordinate, which is 6. So let's simplify that. That gives us y plus 1 equals, let's multiply it the brackets, 3x minus 18. So we end up with y equals 3x, and we take away 1 from both sides, minus 19. So that line has a gradient of 3, and it crosses the y-axis at negative 19. Let's check. It looks pretty steep. 1 along, 3 up. That's a gradient of 3. And if we extended it away down, it would certainly cross the y-axis y-axis at a large uh, negative number. So things are looking okay. So that's part A. There's the equation of the perpendicular bisector. Now let's have a look at part B. That line AB, this one, makes an angle of 45 degrees with the x-axis. Now we know the relationship between um, the angle a line makes with the x-axis and the gradient. It's the tangent. The tangent of 45 degrees is the same as the gradient. And we know the tangent of 45 degrees is 1. If you've forgotten that, there's a square with side 1 half the square, we get an angle of 45, tan of 45 opposite over adjacent, that's just 1. So the gradient is 1. And to find the equation of AB, point on AB is 3, 0. So equation of AB is, I don't know, use this formula again, y minus the y coordinate equals the gradient times x minus the x coordinate. So that would be y equals x minus 3. There's other ways of uh, getting that. Once you've got the gradient of 1, you know if you go along 3 this way, you're going down 3. So it would cross at negative 3. So y equals mx plus c, you get y equals 1 x minus 3, crossing at negative 3, which is what we have. So it all ties up. So that's the equation of A, B. So finally, part C, find the coordinates of the point of intersection of A, B and the perpendicular bisector of B, C. Well, that's this point P uh, that we have. So we know two things. Equation of uh, AB is, this is part C we're on, equation of AB, we just worked that out, is y equals x minus 3, and equation of perpendicular bisector is y equals 3x minus 19. So we solve these together, let's set them equal to each other, and that should help us along the way. They're both equal to y, so we've got 3x minus 19 would be equal to x minus 3. Let's subtract x from both sides and add 19 to both sides. And that'll give us 2x equals 16, therefore x equals 8. And we put x equals 8 in y equals x minus 3. We'll choose that. It's a simpler equation, the first equation there, uh, to get y equals 8 minus 3, which is 5. So p is the point x coordinate 8 and y coordinate 5. Check the diagram. Does that make sense? 8 along, 5 up. It looks 
which is reasonable. That point sees nine along, so it would be just to the left of that, and then five up. That's that looks reasonable. So P is the point eight five.